Hi everybody. So today I'm gonna to make um, a salad. It's called Papa Salad because it's we named it after my dad who basically created this salad dressing recipe. And we'd always um, ask him to make a Papa Salad when we visited. The kids always loved it and it was hard to get kids to eat salad. So this was an easy, delicious salad that the kids liked and everybody else liked. So I just wanted to kind of show you how I make it. And I already have my lettuce in the bowl and I'm taking a carrot and you can use any vegetables you want. Um, I'm just kind of using what looked good in the refrigerator. And this is a little tool that just kind of makes the carrot into like noodles. Um, I like texture in my food, especially different textures because so often I get bored with my salad. So this is kind of fun to have texture. So I'm just putting the carrot on. That's probably enough of that. And then I'm gonna take a cucumber and do the same thing to the cucumber and make it into kind of shreds or noodles. I would call them noodles probably. Um, but really, I did this last night too because I had a little salad before I ate my other meal. And it just tasted so much better with these little shreds. And then when it gets to, too chunky to shred, I'll just actually cut it because I'm gonna use this whole cucumber. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's too, too little. I can't do it anymore. So then I'll cut the rest of the cucumber in there. And I'm really liking cucumber right now because it's really refreshing. If you just look at a cucumber, you can tell there's moisture in it. It's going to be hydrating for your body. And a lot of times people will say, well, I'm dehydrated and I drink so much water. And I'll say, well, it's because you don't eat enough hydrating foods. Um, water is good, but a lot of times water doesn't have the minerals and things that we need in it. So you want to eat foods like cucumbers and watermelon and other juicy fruits and vegetables that have moisture. This will help your body stay more hydrated. So I'm putting that on. And then I'm gonna just chop up some celery. Um, and celery's really good. I like celery because it's, it's, it's another one that's very good for moisture, but it also is good for your bones, believe it or not. And as you age, um, you definitely need more help with your bones. So I just cut it in small little chunks and um, just throw it in your salad. So I'll get that chopped and put that in. And so then, as you can see, I have a nice salad going here, pretty big. I make them big because that's my lunch. You know, I wanna be full. So I do a lot on there. So then it comes to, and it's weird because I'm not quite in here, but the reason is, is because I'm not quite sure how to get it far enough to get it, because I have it on the edge of my counter. Um, I'll figure it out for another video. But for now, this is Papa salad, and you get half of my head. Because <laughs> I want you to see the salad part. So I make a big salad because this is my lunch and I don't want to be too hungry after my lunch or I'm going to start snacking. I'm a big snacker. So to avoid snacking, I have to eat enough. Um, and this is such good roughage and such good nutrients. And I like to eat, I like to chew. And this is going to take me a while to eat. So I'll do something on the computer, some type of work while I'm eating and really enjoy that. Okay, so for the ingredients for the Papa salad, he always put the dry ingredients on first, then the wet ingredients. So we'll start with some salt, and I've got a new little salt container that I just got. I absolutely love it, because I had bought some French sea salt, um, and then I have my pink Himalayan salt, and both of these salts are very high in minerals, so that's why I like to use them. And it's so cute, it has, if I can get it out, <laughs> it has a little spoon. So I'm just gonna take some salt, and don't skimp on salt. salt you know, salt, if you eat the right salt, is good for you. I wouldn't eat white table salt because basically it's bleached. I think they add silicon and different things, you know, as an anti-caking agent. And it's just, it's bleached. It's like white flour. They've just taken all the goodness out of it. So get a healthier salt, um, like the pink salt or the French sea salt that hasn't been bleached. Then I just put a lot of pepper. He was a big pepper guy, salt and pepper. Um, then one of the secret ingredients, and being Mediterranean, we ate a lot of mint. This is kind of a seasoning they use, um, you know, where my grandfather was from in Lebanon. So I have dried mint um, that you can buy. Most grocery stores should have some dried mint, and it's spearmint, not peppermint. Spearmint has a little bit different flavor, so you just shake it on. I can't give you a amount, so you're going to have to play with it because it really is just a pinch of this, a pinch of that. Um, okay, salt, pepper, mint. Next, he always put garlic powder, so I just put a little bit of garlic powder in there. And he, it'd be funny, because when he was making it, he, oops, too much garlic powder, and he, I'd be with him or something, and he'd look at me and go, he'd go, I hope you like garlic, <laughs> and I do. And then the last secret ingredient is bay seasoning, Old Bay, and this is at every grocery store. And it's a combination of 
what do they have? Celery salt, celery seeds, spices, including um, red pepper, black pepper, and paprika. And it just is like a secret little ingredient. Um, and everybody who I show this to, they end up buying it. And we use it for so much. We put it in so many of our foods because it just adds that zing. Um, so now that you have the dry ingredients, you'd want to mix it up real well and get, a, get them on all the um, components in your salad. Just kind of mix it, mix it. And then after you've mixed it really well, um, you want to put your olive oil. And I usually get, I go to Trader Joe's a lot because their prices are so good. And I get organic extra virgin olive oil. Um, so just, I like to get organic if I can and Trader Joe's prices are good. So again, just sprinkle it on. The more the merrier. Olive oil is very good for you. Um, it's a very pure oil and I wouldn't heat it and cook with it, but I definitely put it on my salads. And then you take a lemon. I got this little lemon peeler. I don't even know where, probably Marshall's or TJ Maxx. I saw somebody online using it. I thought it looked really convenient and easy and it is. So I just put some lemon juice on here and they put a lot of lemon. It's about a half a lemon for just a personal salad here. So I've got the lemon on there and then you mix it again and you're done. That's the papa salad. Cause somebody asked me the other day on Instagram, they said, what, what is your salad dressing? And I thought, oh, I'll just do a video so I can show people. Um, so here it is, papa salad. And boy, does it look good. And I think what I'm gonna throw on here too, cause I have some in the fridge is some olives. Um, my Wegmans has a nice olive bar, so I'll get some olives. And I like that kind of salty. I'm such a salt lover. So here's the papa salad, very easy. Um, and in the description below, I'll put the ingredients so you know what they are. And let me know below if you've ever used, first of all, if you've ever used bay seasoning, um, because it's so delicious. And have you used it for other things besides seafood? Because that's kind of what it's meant for is seafood, mostly, but we use it for everything, like I said. And also let me know below if you've ever tried French sea salt. That's a new thing I've tried and I'm really loving it. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, put it below too. So there's your papa salad. Thanks for watching.